they've really, you know, upped their game the last couple of years. We, we made a respectable showing in the Classic. We beat Canada with some really good players, uh, the last Classic. We won the European Championship last year. We beat Holland, which is our first championship in, uh, since 1997. So the results are there. They medaled for the first time ever in an international tournament. They finished third in Taiwan last year in an international friendly. So, And they're producing players. I mean, they have Alex Liddy, who's in big league camp with the Seattle Mariners. Um, another pitcher for the Cubs, a guy by the name of Alessandro Maestri, who possibly, if knock on wood, has a good year, could possibly see some big league time this year. So, um, you know, they have the elements over there. They love baseball. They're passionate about it. And I want to continue to, to help them from my knowledge, but also bring more awareness to that baseball is viable in Europe and uh, to try to continue to, to push Major League Baseball to continue the investment over there. So they don't have uh, sports in the school system. We have to pull them from their respective towns and put them in the academy and teach them, you know, have a tutor for them for their school, and then that's where they, they play ball, and they scrimmage each other and, and develop that way as well. You know, it's, it's fascinating for me because they're so passionate about it, and they're starting to produce players. Now, we have about six kids in the minor leagues, so it's, it's great. I mean, I, I think Major League Baseball should, you know, is aware of what's going on, and, and definitely, you know, I feel is, know that investing in Europe, investing in Italy specifically, is a good investment.